Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Let's see. I'm gonna switch this on. Cool, it seems like we're live. Cool guys, so welcome to another Sunday. It's a bit loud. <laughs> uh, cool, sounds good. Let me know about the music and the sound and all that stuff. Um, so today we are going to start a new project. So I actually want to make a wall clock for myself for a room. Um, hey Patrick, with all senses possible. So I want to make a board that I've got lots of sensors, uh, even put a camera on and stuff. Um, yeah, so just hang it on my wall. There's a reason for that, but I'll get to that reason later. And then today I am using my macro keyboard. So I'm actually testing that out as well. Uh, quite excited about that. So it seems like it's working nicely. So I don't have to click, push the keys anymore. I can just push buttons on the side here. I ordered some caps, so hopefully they come soon. Ah, uh, Netflix. What the Let's make sure everything's fine. Hmm. How are you doing, Patrick? Have, Patrick, have you heard anything yet uh, from video or not? Uh, so let's start with my favorite ESP32. I'm just going to use um, a file I've used before. Mm. I need to sort out my... Switch mobile supply. Yeah, that I'm going to do next week again. So I did order two of them on the PCBs. Um, so I actually want to do that on live stream as well. Oh, no. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. Was at least a nice email they sent. I wonder who they found. I'll find out tomorrow. Uh, this button. Ah, love this macro keyboard. Oh, what am I doing? Hey Samu, good man. Ah, uh, who knows? The company's going fast, so at least you tried, eh? As my main mic controller, I'm going to use the ESP32 because I want to make use of the ESP32 camera as well. I'm doing a kick at uh, this project. I just noticed that, uh, oh, <laughs> wow, 
quality stream, eh? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm doing it in KiCad. I just notice more people get value if I do a big project in KiCad and stuff. So, like the macro key was in Altium, so if someone wants it, they can redo it. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Yeah, now you don't see me, eh? And now, better. That is shocking. <laughs> I think it's when I change some themes or something. Better? Yes? It seems like it's here at the bottom. I'm showing. Oh, good. I think it's when I change scenes. Anyway, I'll get, I'll get used to being a proper streamer. Small sabotage. Um, what, does anyone know of a good digital or a temperature sensor that you guys have used for a project before? So what I wanna do is I wanna add a temperature sensor, humidifier, humidity sensor, uh, camera, whatever sensor we can put on here, I wanna put on here. So I wanna make this PCB full of sensors. Mm. And I've actually never used a temperature sensor before. But I think you guys don't have music now. I'll check it out. I'm trying to get. Not sure. Uh, 
sure what is going on here. DS one eight two. Everything's fine. Sorry, guys. Hey, I said, what compiling issue are you having? Um, yeah, you can use um, Platform IO, that's very popular lately. What's the issue? What's the error that you're facing? Because yeah, with this with this macro keyboard that we made, I uh, struggle for hours with compiling issues in in Arduino, and I mean hours. And there was something stupid. BMA two eight zero. I've used this DS one before um, for water temperature. Ah, oh, no, I'm copying the same thing. Oh, that's a humidity sensor. That's nice. I like it when it's like this because that means they'll give me a schematic. <laughs> or not. Where's my schematic? There we go. Yeah, I said if you tell me the exact thing, I can try to help you. Um, but if you go to Visual Code, I'll show you now. I'm going to start using it as well instead of Arduino. So this project, I'll I will use Platform IO and not Arduino, and then. I don't know if I installed on this PC already. I did on my laptop. Mm. Yeah, there's someone you have to install on my laptop, my laptop platform IO, but then you can use Visual Code to do it. How do you know your code is fine if you can't compile? What error does 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 it give you? Because at the bottom it tells you, yeah, okay, something's wrong. Like here at the bottom, mm. here at the bottom, what does it say? There. What is what error does it give you? Now let's see if KiCad has this. And now with my macro keyboard, I just push a button and come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. Oh, it's got it. So when you push this button, this verify button, what, what, what does it say at the bottom here? Like, I cannot find this library. Um, something's been deleted. No, I want to. So that's why I said I'm going to start using this. Um, I'm going to start using this for this project. 
We used to use Visual Studio with the V Micro. Kerry does it. Kerry does all the programming actually. I program the macro keyboard, but that's what it looks like it looks. Um, but yeah, we will go to Visual Code for um, Platform IO. It seems like that's a place to go. Patrick, what do you use? Okay. Mm. Yeah, I assume you've got Arduino Uno connected to it. Like over here. Um. Mm. Yeah, you can try platform IO. So. It's just a bit different than um, Arduino, a different setup. But have a look at this, um, it works quite well. Yeah, I said you can try use this. So it actually works in visual code, which is free as well. And then you can add it and stuff like that. Extensions. There's platform IO and then you can just install it and then it'll pop up and you can start. It's just, yeah, it's a bit different. Try this as I said and let me know. Otherwise you can share your files on the Discord and I can try to look at it see what I can do. But it's always difficult to troubleshoot so, um, yeah, off at a distance. Um, okay, I'm gonna get back to making Otherwise you can share your code and code file with me and I can try run it here and see what happens I don't mind that so if you put the email me the iron file or discord it it doesn't matter So I'm just going to create a sheet because we're going to have a lot of sensors. So I uh, still want to push the buttons, but I've got a keypad. So I'm going to take this copy. I haven't done all the buttons yet. Paste. So what I'm doing now is I am going to make blocks at the top level. So if I go in here, you'll see it'll be fine. So I've got a top level with all my code. So this will be my ESP32. And then I'll make another sheet for my I should name this uh, humidity sensor. What's it called again? BM BME two eighty. This one and then we can push this button to 
Let's have a quick look what all requires. So it's ask at sea, so we need a pull up. That needs a 3 volt 3, which we already have. We will have. So it basically just needs power. And that's it. Then it's ask with see out. What's this SDO CS? What's this about? It's nice how they give everything. So it's just an I2C module, nothing special. Some pull up resistors. Voltage regulator. So we're going to use I2C. So we must make sure that we CSB is pulled high. Ah, push the wrong button. I must look at used to this macro keyboard. So yeah guys, I'm busy using the keyboard. Yeah, so. So I'm just getting used to, because this is place label, place wire, place component, escape, update PCB, Power port. Yeah. So we've got one of these buttons, so I should make a copy. What's VDIO? Yeah, it just gets shorted, input, output, good. that not connected mm. 
STO ADR, what does it say? Yeah, should be fine. Now we just have to create ports because it needs to go to the outside world. So to do that is we've got a button for that on our macro keyboard. Mm, which one was it again? Yeah, this one. Mm. So we need VN, we need ground in. I need to change the buttons to make a copy button because I copy quite a lot. So. squid seed going out to the outside world. Hmm. <laughs> Do you use VS Code, Patrick? Nothing much. I'm just making that humidity sensor that you said the BME 218. Seems quite simple. Power, I squared C, and that's it. just loving the keyboard at the moment I just need to update the some of these pins uh, some of these keyboards keys to make like copy and stuff I'm not too worried about power now I'm probably gonna keep it powered with wall socket I'm still thinking about that um, because I want it uh, permanently on against the wall. Mm. Ah, I guess I can replace batteries and charge batteries. So I just want something against the wall that's like a clock and I can display certain things like temperature, humidity, yeah, I don't know what all else, um, YouTube subscribers, uh, Instagram followers, I wanted to have a camera so I can see if anyone's in the room. messages maybe it's I don't know I'm kind of just going with it mm. 
Because when I look at this, it's a pretty simple design. I'll have us could see at the ESP32. So yeah, seems fine. Because I'll have my own voltage regulator. Also this mic. This race is pretty simple. Supply power and there we go. So yeah guys, if you guys have any suggestions of what sensors we can add to it. Make the sheet a bit smaller. So I need power in, I need ground, and I need my ISKC, nothing else. Because what happens now is I can put my stuff here. Did I place the wrong type of stuff? Ah, I did the wrong things. So this is different. This is a global label. So it's connected to all sheets like, but I need this. Oops. What is that? Of uh, course. Cool. Also easy to use. Uh, depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> so uh, probably, hmm, it's a good question. The PCB is fun when it's quite difficult to find your way to certain places and it's quite limited. Where PCB where you just start connecting dots and then it gets a bit, then you can just put a movie on and just do it. Uh, I don't know, it's a very good question, I haven't thought about it. Depends what mood I'm in. It's also different if you're gonna first simulate the schematic ball on breadboard and do stuff like that but this is kind of yeah we, we know this will work because someone else has done it before um, i just enjoy the, putting the whole project together actually getting the final thing in my hand like this keyboard like this is so cool And yourself, Patrick, what do you prefer? Analog. Yeah, I'm not good with analog. <laughs> I'll be honest.
No, <laughs> there's, there's never time for some letting. Yeah, definitely. But also, you'll only simulate if it's a kind of new concept, if it's done before and, and your colleagues have done it or your boss has done it or you have so many people reviewing the circuit. Yeah, you don't always simulate. Net is a net. I'm not understanding. Net is a net. Yeah. But you can also, the most mistakes you can make is on your schematic. Because if your schematic is correct, then yeah, layout wise, it should be functionally not always optimal with EMI and RF and all that stuff. But it should be workable. There we go. <laughs> After hours. I haven't used all these passing years. Resource, 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 resource. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, and also just finding the best way, best possible way, uh, yeah, way to advise. It, it is a bit more, it's got a different challenges. It's like a big puzzle. Guys, feel free to ask any questions, if it's even about your projects and stuff. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making a top level and then you'll see I'll start connecting them at the top. Um, similar to what I did with the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. So this one also needs power. Needs ground. Um, Ask C needs to come out. S D A S C L. Hey Ben, how's it going? I actually think India's playing Australia cricket now. Yeah.
Uh, cool, so I've got the Ask with Sila in Scout. There's probably more, more IOs that will come to the outside world. So what we're trying to do is, I'll do this later. I've got Altium open on my laptop. I only have one, um, one license. Oh, Patrick, I see you've sent a schematic on the Discord. Okay, nice, man. Uh, cool. I just want to show you guys what I'm creating now in KiCad as well. So it makes more sense. So what I'm doing is I'm busy making a top level like this. That every single module is something. So I'm doing the same but in KiCad. So this module something, this module something. So then I'll connect that. Let's I'll connect this to this. And then they'll be connected. Uh, won't do it like that now. I'll neaten it up. Um, but guys, yeah. So I made this keyboard. We made it together live on stream. So I did release a video on YouTube explaining exactly how we did it, and I shared the files on GitHub. So you can make this as well if you want. I'm actually using it now. To place my wires and things like that. Any hints how to archive perpetual license in Altium? What do you mean per perpetual license in Altium? Yeah. You mean one license on two different systems? Uh, can I never move this again? What's going on here? That will be that will be sucky. Uh, I need power. I need power. So luckily we had a power circuit before, so I pinned it. Uh. <laughs> I think you'll have to buy it, Patrick. <laughs> so if you buy a license from Altium, it is forever. You just can't upload to or update to the latest one, I think. Yeah, it's expensive. Um, I've got a feeling they're going to try to make it cheaper because if KiCad becomes stronger and stuff, they're going to have to make a plan. But companies use Altium. So. Mm. so I know if in my drone PCB, I have done a... Oh, the voltage regulator. That's the only sucky part because now once I pin it, it's difficult to delete it. You can't control undo. Patrick, do you know if I can... So I pin a schematic because I want to take my old schematics and use it again. But now I can't undo this. And so now I guess I have to move this out the way and then delete it. So I only want this circuit. I should have created a sheet first, but anyway, let's do it. So 
So we have our ESP32, we've got our humidity sensor. So let's create another sheet. Three with So this will take a bit longer to do it like this instead of having one thing. Um, but it's it will help you in the long run. So if I ever want a ESP32, I just take this and use it. Um, You mean this main? Hey, hi Dick, how's it going? I need a voltage input. Maybe just a DC jack. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Appreciate it. Just having fun. How's it going with you? Any cool new projects? I just like chatting to you guys. So this might seem a bit, yeah, taking a bit long, but. If once I create this, I can forever use a 3v3 regulator in all my projects because I'll always have this and so and because of this, I will always just be able to use it on top sheet level. As you can see. I need to change the keyboard. Who's a good programmer that can make the keyboard a bit, because I have to hard code the keyboard. <laughs> so pin five, I want to have C for copy. So I literally have to do this now. So pin five, I make C for copy, and then I just upload it and then it should be fine. And I upload it. So this is all on YouTube guys. So I do share the code and everything, but I'm not the best programmer, so it's not efficient. I would like to make a GUI interface where I can make each each key to something. Now it's a bit hard coded. Did that work? No, not yet. So what the keyboard actually just does is it just actually simulates the key on the keyboard. There we go. So now if I push five, I should get a C. No, uh, ah, I changed the wrong place. 
So what I also did is I can navigate between the stuff. It's keycad, buttons, PCB. I need to change it here. Because this one is for the, yeah, the schematic. Now it should be fine. Let's see. So now if I push five, yeah, now we can see. So if I push one, I get L. If I push two, I get W, three, A. So this is actually how the keyboard works in KiCad. So now if I go to KiCad, I can just, ah, uh, just click on it, copy. Oh, amazing. I still owe someone a key, keypad, keyboard, um, one of the competitions we ran. I did not forget about that. So nice. I'm still learning. Took a course on Udemy by Andre Lamoth. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that's programming. Is that Udemy quite useful? <laughs> it's quite popular. Is the first time you're using it or? That's all right, we need voltage in, we need common ground, and we, then we get our output. Guys, don't be scared to ask questions, even if it's not about this project. Um, it's about your project, it's about anything. It's just a preference, but when I do this, um, just make this an output. Uh, I always make my inputs one side, my outputs one side. Just a preference. I'm gonna move it. Why can't I move you? I'm gonna move you. Move. move. Telling me once this is there, it's done. Move, move. Over here, we need the FIBAS output. Can I program it? I can power up a micro USB, right? Should be enough current. Like a cell phone charger. Hmm. I haven't finished this. So when you guys hear the keyboard,
<laughs> I've like, if you've got specific questions, you can always ask. You don't have to rewatch streams or anything. As long, eh? What, what, do you, what are you busy wanting to learn um, at your level, Adric? Because I would like to help you become confident. That's what I want to do there. That's why I started this channel. Okay, so it's the same as the net labels. Or oh, yeah, or any labels. Thanks, Patrick. Much better. Uh, where were we now? Uh, yeah. So you can hear the keyboard. So when you don't hear that sound, I'm using the macro keyboard. So, sorry, I'm going to mention probably the whole stream. So happy with it. Must order some keypads. I'm just gonna update the noise detection circuit and then we are done. I did the LEDs this morning, um, but it's on my laptop and then on Gary's computer. I don't know. I was messing around and then I, yeah, broke it and had to fix it. And Not sure at the moment. Like learning that there's something called. What's your background, Adik? So you're not. You just wanting to learn about PC design. What What is your end goal? What do you? Yeah. So. So I like to do these projects. So for me, PC design is more of like making stuff for my house, um, stuff I can use that's practical. But we're all different. Do you program with the Arduinos? What have you built so far? Like I said, this channel is for helping you guys start out with PC design, right? So you don't have to prepare PC design to be able to. If if my stuff I'm doing too advanced, please let me know, and then I'll the ideas to make it as easy as possible. Digital sound recorder. Uh, we actually played around with one of the other subscribers. Hey, Shandan. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. There's a van. I'll get you the part number. There's actually a nice IC that can record quite nicely. But uh, what? What? What's it not fine tune? How nice do you want the sound quality to be? Because there's an IC that you can just use straight away with a microphone and it picks up, records, plays back, everything. Uh, it's, it's, I'll need to have a look. Electronics is my second year of college. I'm thinking about a job in the field. What's a quadrate bot? Is it a, a, a robot with four wheels or? Yeah, so electronics is a big field in the world, eh? So, uh, yeah, it's a difficult one. 
because you get PC design, you get firmware, you get uh, integration. It's all what you like to do. And also don't don't be scared to choose a job and you don't like the job. It's you also learn what you don't like. <laughs> That's cool. I think you're in from India, right? How's the engineering job market there? Do you know? Bring out for now, this is fine. some stuff mm. so I want to give it some labels because some people might come late on stream or and they can just look at text and they know what we're busy with Spelling is bad. <laughs> Shandam, are you serious? Well, how, how much, how advanced do you need to know your Altium? Because Altium is a complicated, not complicated, it's just got a lot of features. Uh. <laughs> so what do you need help with? Just how Altium works or... So we've got a lot of YouTube videos out there now at the moment. Um, is there something specific? If you may be on a Discord, um, yeah, maybe one day during the week I can spend some time with you just to run through the gist of it. But he's serious, so if you're learning for the next 15 days, then he'll hire you. I don't mind helping you then. So we have those videos about Altium, um, but if it's not enough, let me know. Okay. So, but what is your background? Have you done PCB design before? Um, do you know about tracks, fires, pads, uh, copper pores? Uh, Shandal, maybe if you can join our Discord, the links below, and then maybe in the week we can have I can have a chat with you and show run you through Altium. I don't mind helping you like that if it's going to get you a job. It'll be amazing. Um, and then other people can join as well on Discord. So it won't be a live stream, it will just be a helping session. Uh, but yeah, focus, 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 focus. Uh, are you, you, I'm sure you're going to use Altium 20, right? Or do you have Altium on your PC from the company or what? Sure, Chandal. Let me know if you have any questions. But I'm sure in 15 days you can, you'll be able to root and stuff. Oh, I see more programmer. Yeah, in 15 days you'll be able to root. Um, but it's more about the other stuff as well. 
So you don't have to worry too much about the schematic and the electronics behind it. Um, from India, engineering market is here majority for computer science. So is the hardware stuff uh, not that many opportunities? Because I think that's a world thing at the moment. So I think majority of people are going to software um, for many reasons, I guess. The world is becoming software, but people don't realize that the software runs on hardware. Um, so I do find that there's not a lot of hardware engineers at the moment. And hardware is also a bit different, right? If you make a mistake on hardware, and it's a big mistake, you are buying a new PCB. Where with software, you can spend hours to fix it. It's not, I'm not saying it's easier, but you don't need, you can just spend the night full time trying to sort out your bugs. Uh, where hardware is, if you made a mistake, okay, good luck, wait, wait another two weeks for your PCB. And it takes long. It takes long to make PCBs, guys. Um, and it's an expensive hobby if you want to do it alone. Uh, what is this now? Humidity sensor. I can't spell. Okay. So if if word is not here to underline when I spell something wrong, it's just wrong, and I accept it. Humidity sensor. So if someone comes on stream now, they can see, okay, we've done an ESP, we've done a humidity sensor. What is this all about? And then we can tell them. Hardik mostly like embedded. So if you want to program something like this, um, most time it's embedded engineers which has a background in electronics. Uh, I find a lot of en electronics engineers also do Python coding. Um, but yeah, so programming the hardware, I would say that's most things electronics guys do. So Chandan, Chandan is an embedded engineer, so I assume he does firmware and uh, programming, uh, microcontrollers, microprocessors, maybe FPGAs. So he can probably tell you more about that. Um, but yeah, so in our electronics department where I work for, we've got firmware guys, which are the programmers. We've got hardware guys, which does the PCBs. We've got electronics integrators. So they'll take the whole system and make sure all the modules work together with one another. And then you've got e electromechanical guys that will make sure the routing of the cables are correct. So if you imagine like a Tesla, all those cables, all those wires, all the sensors, sensors you have very many different uh, electronics departments working on one, one system. So that's what I'm saying. Electronics is a big, big scope. <laughs> Patrick, but at your company, do, do they do both? I've not worked for a company in a long time that they do both. So you'll have your hardware guys and your software guys, but in the bigger companies, you don't do both. Maybe it's startups, but I don't know if you can do both. I've got a friend that works for a startup and he does both. So he does the PCB and the software and everything. At my first company, we did everything, packaging, shipping, everything. But the bigger the company gets, the less that happens, in my experience.
Oh, come on, what's happening? Yes, but do they do hardware as well? They might have experience in it, but do they do the hardware? Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so they've done hardware before, but they don't do software and hardware at the same time. That's very cool. If you can get into a place like that where you can do everything, it's really fun. But it's also more responsibility for you. <laughs> I'm also not very good at it, don't worry about it. If I want something to be coded properly, I'll ask Gary to do it. That's cool. You said about the LM. My spelling is so bad, it doesn't even want to give me something. There's a lot of temperature sensors. Do they have the LM35? Also ask we see, yes, we're gonna put everything on ask we see. That's cool. What is it program? Microcontrollers, software size. CHT thirty five. Ah, uh, but that's just another humidity sensor, or what makes this one better than the other one? Uh, I don't like the packaging. <laughs> Is this the only packaging it has? Because then I'm definitely not using it. I can't solve it, I guess. What's the biggest ac difference? What accuracy is it? But that's different, right, Patrick? So if he's programming Linux, he's programming more like the Pi and stuff. Or do you program the Linux and the controllers as well? The, the picks and the atmals and things like that, STMs. I will definitely check him out. That's a new company. This for me. Since you're on. End of life.
right now I think focus on coding so it works quite well where's the music Yeah, please do, Patrick. Because I need to step up my software game as well. Think about going back to FPJs as well. Nice ice could see bus going on here. That's strange, I think. So, yeah, so when I studied, I actually studied megatronics. I didn't study electronics, but we didn't do any PC design at my college or my university, whatever you want to call it. So I kind of did it afterwards for myself through companies and stuff. What subjects are you doing now in second year? Maths, I assume. Um, Math, science, applied maths. It's quite amazing that there's people with so much experience and like you say he's a pro and he's just willing to help people. We live in a cool time. Even if I deleted it, I just always panic because if I do this, then it's there. So if I delete it then I thought okay maybe. Okay. Good to know. One point two seven. Does it run off 3v3? Mm -hmm. Built in pull up, but I'm not going to buy this module.
So I'll add something to change the dress if I have to. The dress can be changed using external jumper between AD0 and the following pins. And a nanoferret cap. Thanks, Adek. Thanks for coming by and saying hello. I appreciate it, man. Uh, have a good Sunday and good week, whatever you plan. Let me know if you have any questions and struggle with anything, right? I don't want you to feel that this this what I'm doing is too difficult for you. So Chandal, I see you just try to join Discord. What what happens when you join it? Because I'm trying to figure out sometimes when people join it, I can click on them and just give them a roll, make them a plump or not, whatever. And sometimes I can't. Can you chat now or not? Are you blocked to talk in the chat? Just trying to figure that out. So now you got to verify your email and we'll sort that out. button. What does the alert do? I can actually read. Needs a pull up. Straight any function reading the validation by the operating mode. Mm. 
Ok. Need to pull up. And now we need a voltage and ground in here. Getting old. Hey, Dr. Matt, how are you doing? What am I trying to do? I'm going to make a, like a clock for my wall with a bunch of sensors. So I'm looking for something to put my wall, be a clock, have some, all the sensors I can think about. So humidity sensor, temperature sensor, I wanted to have a camera, uh, yeah, so any sensors we can think of, we're going to add. So I'll use the ESP as a, I'm going to use the ESP32 as the brain of the operation. So we'll have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and things like that. So now I'm just breaking the sensors in different parts. Um, that's the idea. I'm um, good, thanks. Nice chilled Sunday. So now I'm just actually creating each separate part by itself and then later on I'll connect it and make it all together. Uh, yes, so if you mean Arduino IDE, like the Arduino code, like this, then yes. But I'll, I'll use a different platform called Platform IO, and but it's based on Arduino uh, bootloader, Arduino IDE. But yes. And then, of course, at the end of the project, I always give all my files away, so anyone who, who wants it can make it. Where are you from, Dr. Matt? this default all of a sudden
Do you have some experience with Arduinos and stuff? Cool, what other sensors can we have? We've got a humidity sensor. I'm just going to move this. This is not a sensor. Motion sensor. Because if I have a motion sensor, then I can also control the lights depending on what happens. Yeah, why not? Why not? What motion sensor? Infrared. Let's see what they have. A per motion sensor. Let's see what other fruit has. How far can it go? Now I need 5 volts to 12 volts. You can jump away past the fire, okay, so it can work on 3v3. Three volts is good. Passive infrared detective. What's this distance? Ten meters. That should work quite nicely. Thanks for the follow, quarter nine, quarter, quarter near near, <laughs> quarter near near, quarter, yeah. Yeah, so I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so there's no like, with the overlay stuff and all that stuff, but I do see. Uh, stream element pop me something up here so thanks for the follow let me know if you have any questions always happy to help so i'm going to use this ncs let's make another sh oh, let's first see if we have this component I don't. Hmm. Let's see if I like 
tools out of it. Hmm. We're gonna have to create a component here then. I feel like we play the same music all the time because I can only play the non-copyright music otherwise YouTube mutes me and whoever wants to watch it afterwards cannot watch it. Let's create another sheet. I need to change my default back to this. I don't know why all of a sudden it's like that. Doesn't matter, we can use our plugin Snap EDA. Do they have it? I've made a video about how to get the Snap EDA in KeyCode, guys. If you guys want to know. This normally means that it's got everything. What's this problem? It's a generic IC. So normally these pictures mean, yeah, okay, I've got the schematic, I've got the footprint, but clearly not. Okay, it's fine. We just create our own. Uh. Okay, cool. So we want this new symbol. units per package make pins units are not interchangeable no create a symbol as possible create symbol with alternate but I don't know what that is so we've got 14 I assume okay what happened Is 
So I will share this, or I do share this Plumpot library on GitHub. Make sure it looks the same as my other footprints. What's going on here? <laughs> nice, there we go. And now we got fourteen pins. Pin one name is Zero. There we go. Arm is getting a bit sore, yeah, getting old. Mm. We will go through what exactly all this stuff is now, but for now I just need a component. So I'm just copying this guys, so I'm making this now. I don't have it in my library, so I guess I need to make it myself. That okay. The ref.
<laughs> Don't need all this. One, two, three, four, seven. There's just one unit. Now the other side. We should be able to negate this. I think if you put a squiggly line in front of it. Like this. Yeah. It's actually the tips and tricks. That's a one I forgot actually to negate the signal. Hey Elias, I'm actually the pot, <laughs> carries the plum. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, I am. So cool. I'm actually so happy. Yeah, so Kerry's surname is Plumstead and my surname is Potgitter. So that's why Plum Pot. There we go, that's nice and easy. So whenever you have the keyboard, then it's um, the normal keyboard, and if you don't hear anything like that, then it's the macro keyboard. Mm. What did we just create? There we go. Boom, plump pot. That's ugly. Edit, edit, edit. Can I 
not edit you, change stuff, make it smaller. Oh wow. I want to annotate so these are actually amplifiers so what we also need is a purr 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 Seems like this is another circuit for Let's Learn Circuits. Can run a 3v3, so it's fine. This is making so nice this keyboard. It's so quick, just push buttons. Mm. I'll go in more detail about this exact IC in the future. Um, don't think it's a time place for it, but it's just a two stage amplifier. So the idea is you'll get an input from your your per so your light sensor motion sensor module should I say and then I'll get an output module you know either one or zero is their motion so it's based on just this spark fun module so I'm basically using this for motion detector So SparkFun always gives their schematics, so it's always nice just to easier if you ever want to use it on your PCB. And they give you the lens there, so it is good. get the lens it is a ZCW M05G 
G-I-V, what? I don't like if I can't get a picture. So you're gonna get use a motion lens. So it's just for a clock. When someone walks into the room, maybe I can make the lights go on. Um, because of the ESP32, you can actually link it to, let's say your Google Home and control a lot of stuff. So it's also something we can dig into. Uh, trying to specify. I just need the footprint for it because if I want to use it, I highly, highly doubt KiCad will have it. But hey, let's check. And does our plugin have it? Ah, what am I doing? Wrong button. Let's give it some time. I'm scared to push cancel because then something just always goes wrong. Yes, yeah, so we did break boards and what we call Vero boards. I think other people call it proto boards. Um, don't actually know what the... Yeah, so this. We call it Vero board. So we always started with a breadboard and then we'll solder onto this Vero board. So we use the Vero board to make our beam bot and stuff like that. But it's not good to use a breadboard. You'd rather do it on a breadboard than do it on a schematic and then you make a PCB and there was a mistake that you could have seen earlier. Guys, if there's any questions, let me know. If it's about your project, about someone else's project. Ah, I want a footprint, man. Seems like we're gonna make a lot of footprints. Um, with a data sheet. Ah, it's not this, I want the parallel data sheet. Like that, that module there, the lens. Do you use them quite often, Elias? Really? 
So this one is the Just want a footprint so I can make it. Otherwise, I'm not maybe just make a connector where I just connect this module on. It'll be cheaper than making myself, but that's not the fun part. What are you bu busy building on your breadboard? Need a move button on my macro keyboard. This will go to my uh, I've got to say this makes sense. 
that should be part of that. I've got the data sheet here, so I'm actually just going to connect it now and then I'm going to go into the data sheet and have a full understanding because I'm going to have to program it and stuff. Um, so the sense of the IC, so that's two different things. So the IC makes use of the sensor, the per sensor, but I'll have to go into detail exactly how everything works. I think it's a nice video for our Let's Learn Circuits thing. Because this should not be here. But I say it seems like these should be together. This is probably differential pairs. So the idea is the sensor, the per sensor gets plugged in this uh, having a reference voltage and when I get too close the voltage will change and the op amps will do its magic and then I'll get an output to my Arduino saying there's been motions. But I'll definitely go in more detail. Probably change some values to change some sensitivities. Don't know what else sensors we should add. Yeah, that's the plan. So, like I always do. I will always take those circuits and put in more details afterwards, make a separate video for that as well. Uh, any other sensors we can add guys? So this is a wall clock, it's going to go on my wall. Uh, I want a motion sensor so I can change my lights. I'm going to add a ESP32 camera as well. So I can view what's going on. Uh, some humidity just for fun. I'm thinking now what else we can add. I want as many sensors as possible. <laughs> radiation sensor. <laughs> Output radiation or sense radiation? Maybe a, a smoke detector, smoke sensor. Then I don't need a smoke detector on my... Like smoke or gas. What do we call radiation detection or radiation emitting? <laughs> I'm not emitting radiation in my house. <laughs> um, how would you like a hey, Quanta? PM2, 5 PM10 sensors. What do you mean by 2 PM to 5 PM10 sensors? I'm not really understanding that sentence. Is PM2 a sensor? Or did someone already make something like this? I don't mind copying.
Anyway, how are you doing, Quanta? Tear in it. <laughs> Send you money for the MK5. MK5. M5K stack. Yeah, it's been a hectic weekend, man. Things are happening out of my control, yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for you to chat to us at 8 p.m. I saw your Discord message, but I totally forgot to be honest with you. But I sent you a link, right? Send me your email, then I'll transfer the money over PayPal. Yeah, in five case, in five stack. Radiation detection, like a guide counter. I'm not too sure I'll be able to do it, but why not? I'm a bit iffy about this one. Mm, what's this one? What do you guys call that place? Robu or something? No, you can't. I'm just googling. I'm thinking maybe just get the core too. It's newer. It's more expensive, so it's better. This one. How much years is that? We must still have a giveaway for 2,000 subscribers as well. Cool. I'll DM you through Kerry's one now and we can sort it out later. Mm. I just DM'd you. And then we must chat later about why you say it's expensive. I'm paying for it, right? CO2 detection. And then we still chat, uh, Ranesh. CO2 detection, I'm sure we can do. I'm sure we can do. Mm, nice. Uh, Quanta, I think I'm going to do both. So I think I'm going to have a battery pack and um, just maybe a USB slot where I can just power with USB. Because if I have a clock and I have to keep, yeah, I can charge it. If I can charge it, then I might as well just have the power on it. I also don't want to replace batteries. Maybe a DC jack. Um, yeah, I'm looking actually on the wall where it will be. So. Yeah, then you have to use power the whole time. <laughs> but, yeah, good for bunkers. I'll post a video soon. Wow. You, you're going to share it on Discord? Above the clouds. How high is that? How many meters, kilometers? Uh, 
Uh, Elias, that's another question. Um, so you must have a look what type of screen you want to use. Will it be like a normal um, matrix type of vibe? Um, like something like this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, what OLED? Like a mess. I want a big clock on my wall. Um, like something like this. What's this? Yeah, so I don't know if something like this is big. It's not very clear. Yes, that's the idea. So I want to sit here and be able to see it. So I've got a couple of these at home already. And they're quite big. They can actually play a movie. Which OLED? I don't know what this is. You mean this OLED? Yeah, I've got lots at home with this. Or this. You say yes, but I don't know if it's this page or this page. <laughs> it's too small, this. This is too small. 10 inch. Just yes, expensive, guys. <laughs> it will cost me about 100 euros to send it to India. I've been trying, yes, I'm trying to see what's the best way. That's why I'm asking you to buy this stuff because it's so expensive to send to India. Uh, but yeah, I will have another giveaway for the 2,000 subscribers, and then, <laughs> and then I'll ask you to buy some more stuff because it seems like most of the people are from India. Mm. Guys, and don't forget, we are doing once a month, uh, we as Plumpot are sponsoring projects. So if you want to email me your project ideas to info at plumpot.co.uk and then once a month we'll choose someone and then we'll sponsor it financially and give help and stuff like that. What are you trying for display? I've not tried anything for display yet. So I've used one of these before, so now it works. It doesn't look too bad. You can see far from it. Uh, this is expensive. <laughs> this is like a human interface device. Um, LCD. Yeah, okay, there's other websites as well than this one, I guess. No, these are too small, but let's see. P10. What's a P10? That's a phone. No tab. What's a P10? It has go away. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's above my pay grade. I will just take so much time, man. What, do you want me to make my own LEDs? It looks ugly like this in the images, but in real life, it's actually not too bad. You can actually run movies on it. Maybe we should add a, add a, a sun, sun, sun panel, just because we can. This is Neopixel, but that's just a string, right? I also want to see how it's done, Elias. So if you can do it for me, I'll be, I'll be greatly appreciated. And then we all can learn. Uh, 
That's too small. So I would like to, where I'm sitting here, the wall is probably about four meters, five meters away. And I guess, I don't know, maybe we do for both, why not? It's just very expensive, guys. It's much cheaper, but it's smaller. Ranesh, you meet this near pixels because this is the same type of vibe. Because the cool thing is then I can make the PCB fit exactly this and that will be very handy. Because currently I just take the SP and take cables, cables, cables. So this will be quite cool. Because then you can just take the PCB, boom, click it into those spots and then it will work. That makes it very handy. So and then we can have a look to have a power circuit as well on the PCB. Because it's different power supplies. Yeah, this will definitely be much less. It's 25 euros. That is... Guys, I don't know about rupees. That is... Uh, 2,200 rupees. But yeah, I think we're going to go with that. Because if we make a PCB, we can screw it on. I just have to make sure my motion sensor is pointing to the front. But yeah, that's it. Guys, so think about it. So this will probably uh, be a biggish project. So we will carry on next week again. I have to leave soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me guys, guys, let me know about the time of the stream. Like what works for you? Because I know some of you guys, India is, what's the time in India now? So it's 20 past four by me now. Yeah, salmon segment can work. Um, we actually made one before on this channel. Um, yeah, Elias, we've got the same. We've got the same time. What's the time by you now, Rinesh? Okay, yeah, so it's similar. That's uh, exactly the same. Looks similar. Yeah, so I'll use something like this. Yeah, the time right now. What's the time difference? We did make a, I'm trying to look for the video now. So we actually did make a, our own seven segment display before. So you guys are about three hours, four hours, four, four and a half hours from us. Yeah, okay. It's not too bad. But yeah, so we made this clock before. And so then we use this for seven segment. Guess we can use that again. And then it looks like that. So we've got this lying around we can also use. But I want the new screen. So the fitness timer we made.
yeah, it was a cool, nice project. It was someone asked on YouTube to make them a a fitness timer for their garage, so we helped them out. Uh, okay, cool guys. I think I'm gonna call it a stream. I've got to do some grown-up stuff again. Fun times. Do my Dutch homework again. Every Monday morning I've got Dutch lessons, and I always keep my homework for last. Um, yeah, so let me know if there's any questions. Let me know about time streaming. <laughs> no, I just got a um, LED stream. I never promote my stuff really. Just on Insta and Facebook. Otherwise, be like, press the join button below and join the Plumpod membership. Um, cool. So we've got our sensors. Let me know about the time. If this time suits you guys, if this is another time that works best for you guys, just message me on Discord. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for today. We did some sensors. We're going to do some more sensors next week. And then hopefully we can get this and then we'll have a board with so many sensors. We will not know what to do with it. Um, cool guys, any questions before I head off? I see India is playing England in cricket. Twenty fifty-five. <laughs> you send that message two minutes after our next send is. Quantum P, is this a good time for you? And what works better, Saturdays or Sundays? Also let me know. You guys don't have to let me know now, but just think about it. I was thinking about, I was thinking about um, doing the week, but then I only get home at about six o'clock from work, or I stop working at between five and six, and then it's already pretty late in India. But I guess I can do a midweek stream. But then it'll be probably about seven o'clock my time, seven till seven till ten, seven till nine, which is about yeah half past ten, eleven o'clock in India. It's a bit late. Okay, I'll keep it for Sundays for now. Maybe I'll squeeze in a midweek stream. But yeah. Uh, Ranesh, if you can suggest music that is not copyrighted, then please, because I'm also getting bored of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll search for calm, non-copyright music. But yeah, if I don't use, if I use normal music, then when they replay it, then YouTube kills the music and you can't even hear me speak, which might, some of you guys might like, but... <laughs> okay, cool, guys. Mr. Suicide Sheep. Is that non-copyrighted? Great. Guys, I love it. Help me out here. Maybe I'll work on some overlays as well, because the stream also looks quite boring compared to other guys on the Twitch and the YouTube and all that stuff. I'm not too much into that. Okay, good night, Ranesh. Guys, if that's it, I'll see you guys during the week with our release of videos. So every Wednesday, I try to release a tutorial. And then, so Wednesday is tutorial day, we release a KiCad Ultium tutorial. And then Saturdays, I try to release a bigger video like the macro keyboard. So I will release the fourth part of the macro keyboard on Saturday, and then Sunday we stream. I will go for the Matrix one, Tuppy. That's definitely, I will definitely. No, no, 100% sure. Cool, guys. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. As always, let me know how I can help you guys. Send me a message on Insta, uh, Facebook, YouTube. On Insta, you can find my WhatsApp number as well. So I know a lot of people are WhatsApping me as well. Uh, doesn't matter. Just, just, just bear in mind that I don't reply straight away. Yeah, so I do work during the day. So... <laughs> Thanks, Elias. You too. See you guys. Bye.